wins got wings. What's up guys, it's your girl, she's Prices, and I'm back here with another video. And today, I am doing the video that all you incoming freshmen have been waiting on. A Q&A for HU 23. I almost said HU 22, but that just means I'm getting old. Durr. So basically, um, a lot of y'all have been reaching out to me via social media, Instagram. Um, I don't use Snapchat, so if you reached out to Snapchat, I don't think anyone has. Twitter. So yeah, I'm gonna um, just address some questions that have already been asked, you know, throwing my own little two cents, because a lot of what I said last year still kind of applies now. So yeah. I hope my lip gloss is rubbed in. Let's get in. So what are some tips on time management? So the first tip that I would get is one, use your phone, okay? Use your phone in the right way. Your phone comes with a calendar, it comes with alarms. I'm telling you, use it all. Literally, use one day to um, get a planner and write down all, you, like during syllabus week, that's when during syllabus week, that's when you're gonna get all of your um, classes and all the work for all the school years. Gonna let you know your tests, your quizzes, and your your professors will not tell you when you have a test or quiz or an assignment due. So I suggest you get a planner, write it all down, put it in your phone, set alarms, and all of that. Um, another good tip for time management is I know during my freshman year, blessed I didn't have an 8 a.m. But I was supposed to take this class. That I was supposed to have an 8 a.m. And, and I ended up taking a sophomore year, so like, uh, but, um, yeah, so you, I don't care what you did in high school, 8 a.m.s are impossible in college. I don't know what it is, what's in the water, what's the temperature, the atmosphere, but it's just impossible to do in college. And I didn't realize that some people had such a hard time getting up until, like, I came here. Like, I always tried to get up for class. I mean, I would, like, you know, hustle and bustle and make my way to class. Some people literally sleep through it, it's just like, whatever. <laughs> and if you do miss a class, make sure you communicate with your professor and email them because they don't care. <laughs> they really don't. So yeah, um, also utilize your breaks in the day. Now me, I like to stay up late and like to take naps throughout the day. But if you're better than me, you will go to the library. You'll go to Founders, you'll go to iLab, um, Health Sciences Library. That's the quiet library. Don't go to Club Founders. Um, I lab is quiet sometimes, only like when it's not final season, because girls will party up in there. Yeah, utilize your time wisely. Um, how was freshman week? Now, freshman week was really fun because um, I think when my mom dropped me off for college, she stayed for like two two or three days to help me get my stuff in. You know, it was really fun because everyone's going shopping, we're all decorating our dorms, there's no classes, there's parties, well there were parties in the valleys, HU22 was kind of lame, I don't know what's going on. It was parties in the valley, we would just all link up, chill, listen to music, you know, do college things that I don't have to tell y'all about, but y'all gonna love, <laughs> y'all already know, y'all already hip, okay? Um, yeah, so it's just really good vibes. Everyone's new, so don't be really, don't be afraid you're not gonna make friends, cause literally the person next to you is probably scared they're not gonna make a friend either. So you just be like, hey sis, everyone. That's literally how it is. Everyone's just like, hey sis, hey sis. Especially, oh, I'll get to that later. But especially if you live in the QUAD, honey. Okay. Um, did you have a freshman week, babe? Girl. Okay. Yes, I did have a freshman week, babe. But that turned. That was. Oh, terrible. So basically what happened was, um, you know, you meet people off of Snapchat, Instagram, group me, all of that. I was talking to somebody. Um, it was this awkward situation ship. And then when you get to Howard, there's also like thousands of other beautiful girls here. And you know, these little niggas are just like right up out of high school. So they're, they just like want everybody and they want to keep everybody a secret and keep them on the low. And I'm the type of person, if you're talking to me, you only talking to me. If you want to talk to her, cool. You're going to talk to her, but she ain't going to be talking to me. Like, you feel me? So, um, yeah, that was, 
that was poo that was that wasn't it it was not it at all so yeah um honestly leave these boys alone leave them alone your freshman year um then don't leave these upperclassmen alone too because they they really do pry on freshmen like they really do they really do because they know y'all are innocent y'all look good y'all y'all are new y'all ain't hip to the bull yet so just 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 be smart okay be smart Oh, can you talk about your quad or CHN experience? So I stayed in the QUAD Wheatley Full Gang Gang Gang, okay? And it was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had because some of my floor mates are some of my best friends right now. And those are girls that like, eventually, when I get married, they'll be there, okay? Those, those, those are my bridesmaids. Those are, those are my guest list. Those are my VIP. Those, those, are, those are the people you hit up. And honestly, your college friends are the best friends you'll ever have. And staying in the quad is literally the sisterhood. It's like no other because you're literally, everyone's doors are open. It's not mandatory to have your door open. But most of the time, everyone's doors are open. People just walk in and out. Um, Literally, my room was like the hangout spot. Like, I would come back from work and there'd be a bunch of girls sitting in my room just talking. We'd stay up all night talking. We would watch movies. We'd akiki about everything. Like, it, it was just so much fun. And um, the communal bathrooms, we before, we didn't really have that many issues. Why did I just lie to you? Okay, so our bathrooms, they weren't that bad. Wash days, okay, it was a little tragic. I don't know what, what, you know, home training, the girls was just shedding, like, I don't know what. Um, we didn't have any bugs, we, most of the time we had hot, girl, we, our water would burn us, Wheatley for Heatley Wheatley, okay? Cause one of the things we used to dip our braids in, like, it was hot water, like, hot. And, um, living in a triple in Wheatley, the rooms were actually big, so they were, like, made for triples, so I didn't really have a problem. Um, now I don't know how y'all did it in the truth cradle and all because y'all was packed like sardines and it would not have been me, honey, but no. But, um, yeah, the sister hill was really there. Um, there's a tunnel that connects you to all the other dorms. There's five dorms in quad. There's Wheatley, Truth, Crandall, Baldwin, and Fraser. So, yeah, those are the dorms. Quad is literally a sister hill, like, between the step team, between the stroll, the dance team, all of that. Like, it's, like, you want to be part of the legacy. You want to be a quad. So, um, yeah, CHN, CHN is more closed off living, everyone's kind of to themselves. Now it's like, if you bougie and you can't do no bathroom with nobody else, you just want to, you know, be real close off. I am going to say this, so HU22 had to stay in CHN and Annex. They're kind of socially awkward. And <laughs> I don't mean this like disrespectfully, but like the party scene, like, I don't know, cause like we, in Quad, we used to just like walk up, talk to everybody, like we was just real social, somebody playing music, everybody get around dancing, like, it was, it was lit. And we was always blasting music, CHN, like, I don't know, like, the girls, like, just see how like, the girls turned out from age 22, it's just like, I ain't saying nothing wrong with them, like, they're super smart and beautiful, but like, this, they don't have that quad spunk, like, you can tell who's from the quad and who's not, okay? Like, nothing against it, but if you you want to build sisterhood, friends, you want that, um, you just want that college feel, live in the quad. Live, like, it's like kind of like a rite of passage to becoming a Howard woman, you feel me? But, um, yeah, if you really can't do the bathrooms, then stay at CHM, but quad the experience was amazing and I wouldn't trade it for the world I do it over and over again and it's so funny because when I'm with my friends we always be talking about like stuff that happened in quad especially with our art right, because it'd be so much petty drama that happened in quad it's just it's so funny like it's hilarious um um any tips with financial aid honestly so anytime you deal with financial aid just go up to the building because if you call they're gonna put you on the phone with some white lady and they're, and they're not even on campus it's just like um, after you complete your first year at Howard, there's donor scholarships to your school. I've never received one, but I've always applied. Um, honestly, I think you just have to have a good GPA to get it. Um, oh yeah, make sure your GPA. Freshman year, don't mess up. 
works. Freshman year sets your foundation. It gives you cushion. It does everything. So your first semester, really try hard to do well in all of your classes. Because I'm telling you, you don't need that cushion. Don't be like me. Don't be like you, beast. You don't need that cushion. Oh, can you start your own club at Howard? Yes, you can start your own club, but it's not like... Um, it's like it's actually legit like you got when you start your own club you gotta have your own e-board you gotta make your own constitution you gotta make the bylaws amendments all that like we official girl this ain't no this ain't no preschool club and you just go to student affairs um and you get fill out the application it usually takes like a semester for it to like be in the system but yeah you have to have an advisor too so yeah um let's talk Ooh, clout let's talk about it because people here, they do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. Don't be a clout chaser. I feel like I said this in my life. I know I said this in my last video because it's my thumbnail. Don't be a clout chaser. Now, there are, is a lot of prestigious people that go to Howard. There's a lot of people with a lot of money that go to Howard. There's a lot of people that, you know, ride people, other people's clout. Don't ride nobody other people. Don't ride nobody else's clout. Now, what is clout? How? What is a clout chaser? A clout chaser. A clout is. A clout chaser is somebody that just does stuff to get to another point and doesn't do it because they don't have a, because they don't um, doesn't do it because they have a passion for it or because they want to. Um, they're just like genuine about it or genuine about whatever is going on. Some people just do things here just to get to another place and or just to get to know somebody or just to get to the next step and it's just like it's okay to do things to get to the next step but like if you have no passion and don't put your all into something like what are you doing it for you just cloud chasing oh, okay that's cute and people recognize cloud chasers and we don't like that like we don't like that um don't be that type of person that stays in the Howard bubble like literally get out to explore DC um get to know people that go to other schools get to know people that's like the neighborhood i don't know get to know people that go to morgan Bowie. um oh those are the black schools other schools around here american georgetown um yeah all of that but um explore dc there's plenty of museums there's plenty of stuff to do there's plenty of restaurants there's plenty of opportunities so yeah just get to know dc don't stay in shock because you will hate Howard if you just stay at Howard. Don't stay at Howard. Just roam, explore, meet new people. But do be careful of these of these DC natives because um, yeah, just be careful. Because there are people that linger around campus just to you know because they don't have anything else to do. And if someone is lingering around campus and they are not adding to your life, if they are not helping you build. You don't need them and that goes especially okay let's talk about tinder <laughs> let's talk about it let's address it okay tinder you will either find the love of your life or that person will break your heart or that person will do both okay <laughs> most of the time people get their heart broken i don't know too many people that have found good things from tinder most people are just looking for a hookup um somebody to talk to and if they on tinder just know they talk to a whole bunch of other people so honestly just stay away from tinder literally mind your businesses like keep just like stay on the path stay on the path stay on the path okay um let's talk about this party scenes so i don't know about like this year so it was a whole bunch of parties last year like we literally had options on options on options we was party hopping if we wanted to but like this year it's been dead and i don't know why like there's literally like no parties <laughs> um i mean there's no free parties. There's parties, but there's no free parties. Um, and it's not just like in the HU21 group chat or the Howard group chat. HU22 ain't got no parties in there either. And I'm just like, uh huh. I don't know what happened. I don't know what 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 the culture done died at, but there did them parties they just don't exist. I'm like, well, okay. But it's okay because I wasn't really a big party person. I honestly like kickbacks better because I feel like those are more intimate, you get to know people better, and just good vibes, good vibes only. Um, but yeah, even when you do go to a party, make sure you go with people you trust. If you leave with a group, you come, if you come with a group, you leave with that group. If one girl go missing, everybody go looking. Like, period. That's it. <laughs> um, watch out for your friends, watch out for girls. Um, literally watch out for girls because 
When I tell you, like, I was walking with my friends and this guy was, like, behind her, like, trying to talk to her, but she had AirPods in, so she couldn't hear. And so, like, I stopped while I beat my friends. We stopped and we just stood there. We looked, like, what's good? And then, um, like, he touched her and she, like, jumped because she didn't know her. And he's just like, you gotta be careful about your surroundings and, like, where you're walking and just, just be aware. And literally, because if that was girl, I was going to be like, hey, Tiffany, Tiffany, girl, is that you? Girl, where you been? I didn't know this girl from Canada, but it's, you know, it's still my responsibility to make sure that she's okay. Like, I'm not about to be responsible for that. Um, same, like, if you're at a party and you see some guy making a move on a girl that's not, that's not right, that's not, you know, invading her, she needs some help, girl, you better say something. It's a fight! Like, something, make some distraction, make something intervene, excuse me, this my girl, like, let's go, like, oh, we gotta bounce, girl, yo, we gotta go, like, literally, like, make, protect your sisters, protect them, protect them, okay? Oh, yeah, and if you're talking to a guy and he wants you to go meet you at your door and he don't walk you there and walk you back, Leave him alone, sis. He, he ain't worthy. He ain't worthy. He don't care about you. He don't love you. Like, no. <laughs> no. Um, opportunities and internships. There's literally, girl, there's literally so many opportunities and internships. Like, listen to your Howard communication emails. Like, they'll send you, well, I'm an SOC, so I always get sent internships. Um, make sure when you get here, you get on Handshake and you start your internship search fast. Because there's always opportunities, there's job employment opportunities. Um, there's just a lot of opportunities that come from Handshake. So, literally, set your account up like today, like right now. Like, open your computer and go to Handshake and log in with your Howard email, build your portfolio, and get your profile popping. Okay? Um, yeah, because that's literally how you're going to be set up for success. Um, make sure you have a mentor. I didn't have a mentor to like <laughs> sophomore year <laughs> to like sophomore year and it was literally my professor um and he just kind of took the time out to get to know me because I did this speech in class that like I don't know it was really it, it was a lot and um it's it's those type of people that like recognize your potential and recognize how special you are that you need to keep in your life and um, I'm really so grateful for that because like literally I can go talk to him about anything, advice, um, school, boys, like anything. Just get you a mentor. Get you a, a mentor to talk about um, professional things, life things. If you just need somebody to vent, if you need somebody to... Get you a mentor, get somebody, get an upperclassman, get somebody that's like going, like doing the things that you want to do. Um, yeah, so always get a mentor. If you need a mentor, reach out to me. I don't have like three, four people reach out to me, tell me, oh, can you be my mentor? And I'm like, yeah, girl, I got you, sis. And they got my number, we be talking, I answer their questions, we do it all. Like, I am here for you. Um, Oh yeah, pop out culture, y'all. Pop out culture is meant for events and events only. Like, like somebody coming to campus, yada yada yada. Pop out culture is what you make it. You know, you can pop out in heels, you can pop out in, in your sweats. You can pop out culture is literally making your style, you know, however you want to dress. But don't think you gotta come here wearing brands and stuff. Don't go broke and don't go taking out loans so you can fit in. Cause honestly. Half of, more than half of Howard is under the poverty line. Don't let nobody fool you. Like, and then there are some people that are over the poverty line. Like, way over the poverty line. Like, in the 2%. <laughs> like, okay. So, um, don't, don't get caught up. Don't, and don't go broke. And don't go broke trying to brunch and do all this cute DC stuff. Because let me tell you, I ain't brunched yet. And when I get a steady income, you better best believe I'm going to start living my bestest life. Okay? Um, yeah. Make sure you're investing in yourself. College is a time for you to find out who you want to be. Find out what you like, what you don't like. Just, it's literally a time to test the waters. Okay? Um, and when you find out what you're passionate about, like, go for it 100%. Don't, don't halfway do it. Don't. Just go for it 100%. Believe in yourself. Because... That was one of my biggest downfalls. I did not believe in myself, my abilities, my talents. But somebody said, who am I or what I do? Or if I was like, oh yeah, I do YouTube. Like, I'd be shy because I don't have 
you know, 50,000 subscribers. But literally be confident. Just say, yes, my name is Elise Price. I go by She's Priceless because I'm priceless, period. I do photography. I do videography. I write. And, I, um, and I'm passionate about inspiring, motivating, and mentoring. Like, literally, have your elevator pitch ready. Was that my elevator pitch? I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> I'll, I'll just give y'all an example. That's, I don't, you know, we still figuring it out. Yeah, my hands, you know how, like, your hands feel like that static with my feet? That wasn't my hands with my feet. Like, literally, it's just, like, wrinkly. Um, is that it? Yeah, legacy. So, when you come here, you've already, don't, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So a lot of people get depressed when they're in college because it's your first time being away from home. It's your first time being on your own. Don't be scared to ask for help. I struggle with this immensely. Like literally I texted my mom like the other day. I was like, mama, I, haven't, I was like, mama, I ain't ate in like two days. Like, and she went off on me, but I had to reach out for help, okay? So don't struggle in silence. Don't, and my friends, they would go off of me because they're like, why are you struggling in silence? Like, why didn't you say nothing? Like, don't struggle in silence. Reach out for help. Reach out to your professors. Be on your professors. Like, first day of classes, go up to, go up to your professors. Hello, my name is so-and-so. I'm introduced to your Howard intro. Hello, my name is Elise Price. I'm a junior broadcast journalism major, photography minor from St. Louis, Missouri. I just wanted to come up and introduce myself, and I'm looking forward to your class. Whoop de whoop and you out, out the door. Cause I know I'm the type of person that I skedaddle. Like I ain't got time to be talking to nobody. I ain't got time to be, I be trying to get there to my room. But um, I'm doing a little better, a little better. <laughs> um, but yeah, just don't be the type of people that don't, don't struggle in silence. Cause I struggled in si silence a lot and that made my depression worse. It made my depression so much worse, honey. Like. Oh my gosh, like literally all of sophomore year, well sophomore year, that's a whole nother story. I can do a video on sophomore year because sophomore year and freshman year are two different things and I think I think I've took up enough of your time. But <laughs> if y'all want a video on sophomore year um, and how to adapt and all of that or transfer students, whatever you want, um, let, her know, let me know. If you have any further questions, leave them down below. I'm gonna do a Q&A. Um, and then I'm gonna do a giveaway for HU23 because I collected a lot of supplies, things like laundry detergent, oatmeal, um, granola bars, notebooks, pens, pencils, highlighters, all that stuff. I'm gonna do a big giveaway in my Q&A video. So make sure you, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram at she's underscore price underscore less. Follow me on Twitter, same thing, she's underscore price underscore less. Um, make sure you subscribe, shout me out, and um, you're entered in the giveaway and I will be what will I announce? I think I'm gonna film the QA. Hmm. Do I wanna show y'all what y'all get before you cause it's a lot, it's lit y'all. It's it's really lit. <laughs> um how do I wanna do that? I don't know. Let me think on it. I'll let y'all know. Stay tuned to my social media so you can know. But um yeah, I think that's all for this video. Um, welcome! I'm so proud of you for making it to Howard. I can't wait to meet all of y'all. Um, don't be afraid to speak. Sometimes I'm kind of anti-social. I might come up, come across anti-social, but I just be having a million things running up in my head. But always speak, always say hello. Um, yeah. Um, make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe as always. And be so sweet and gracious, I love you all. Bye!